Hey everybody, this is Brian again from PMB Homesteading. Thought I'd do a little shot of some of the projects I worked on outdoors this weekend before the snow came. If you can believe that we actually had snow today at the end of February. Um, it's a pretty rare occurrence here in the Pacific Northwest, but we had about mm, two inches this morning when we woke up. And we're predicted to have another three to four inches tonight before going back to work on Monday. So it ought to be a pretty good adventure. But uh, here's one of the projects I did this weekend, as you remember. This is where we used to have the propagation bed. And so I dug that out this weekend. And I'll show you where I moved that to. But we're going to be redoing this area down here because it gets pretty wet and soppy, as you can tell. It's pretty, uh, pretty soaked. So we're going to be digging out this area all through here as one of my projects this year. Probably putting in some rock. Maybe putting even some plastic in here underneath the drain. But that's just one of the projects. There's our fire pit wood pile. We'll be burning that this year as part of our family evening get-togethers but the plants that were here I've up potted and put over here a lot of them didn't make it that were the uh, the lavender but you can see there's some lavender that that did so we transplanted that the ones that did survive that I was surprised of is all these azalea bushes so each one of those is going to be a brand new little azalea bush that we'll be able to plant out in the yard maybe this fall because I'll probably grow those out this summer in these pots for a while and then I'll up pot those to the one gallon pots so those are all free that's free plants that you get when you uh, do your own plant propagation and then I moved the propagation bed over here so this is gonna be the new home where it's gonna live we've got some of our uh, our kale that got decimated with the snow we had this weekend Hopefully some of it will bounce back. It looks like there's still some shoots that are coming out that will bring it back, but uh, this cold freezing weather we had this past week in the snow really took a toll on it. But this is where I'm gonna be doing the propagation for a lot of the plants in our yard coming going forward. Because this bed doesn't always get a whole lot of great sun because we have this peach tree here that kind of shades the afternoon sun. And then a lot of the sun from the morning is blocked by the trees over there for this box and the fence and the trees over there block it from the morning sun that comes up over through there so this will be a good bed for doing some propagation and I also have shade cloth to put over the top if it does get kind of warm in the summer months but that's gonna be kind of a, a nice little thing because it's gonna get it out from under our deck to give it a I can control the Sun that this gets as well as the water now so before you know it was hit and miss with what you would get for the uh, the sun get into that box because being under the deck you would have a tendency to have spots that weren't getting sun some that got too much sun and then they would get too dry and too wet and it wasn't a consistent mix so hopefully I'll be get better germination because I want to do a lot more lavender this year and then uh, over here I did some digging over there kind of made it into a little mud pit for right now put some clover seed down to uh, get that going for spring so I was counting on having some warmer weather coming up this next week but now they're talking about snow so who knows if that seeds gonna germinate or not but I created these two new garden boxes I don't know if these are here the last time I did a walk around the yard but uh, these are gonna be for some tomatoes and I'm gonna put some squash in here so I'm probably gonna put maybe two squash plants tomato in the center and then do that kind of garden there it'll be nice more of the quick growing squash, not the big squash, the viney squash, it's gonna be bush squash. And then of course that's gonna be for cucumbers, the punakiras, I ordered some more of those seed as part of my uh, spring garden seeds. And I don't know if I'll do, I might just do cucumbers down on these two trellises this year. And then I'll do the beans up on all the other trellises. But uh, it's gonna be looking forward to having spring this year. Oh, and I did divide off, you might be wondering about the ferns here. They used to be so nice and full. Well, I went ahead and divided those. So I took those ferns and I cut off the little uh, the rhizome root layers and divided those out. I got two ferns off of each one of those plants. And then I had some more up on the hillside I, I cut that were up above. And you can see I got some new, these are the deer fern, which is something that's kind of a littler, smaller fern. It's not like the sword ferns. See, that's a sword fern there. It's got a bigger you know, fern itself. These are more of a compact fern for more of a, you know, spot fern 
decoration throughout the yard, so I've got a couple there, over there. Just to give it a little bit of a wintertime foliage instead of just looking at the, the mud and soil <laughs> kind of mix. It gets so blah, so blah out here in our, our yard and it looks all, everything's dead and rotting. So I'd like to have some, you know, pops of greenery throughout here for our winter months. But that's one of the projects I did this last weekend. And then I, you know, filled those with some compost. I'm probably going to throw a cover crop in there for spring. But uh, being that I don't know if we're going to have any more snow besides this week, maybe in the next week and the week after, I'm not going to put any cover crop seed out in any of my garden boxes yet. I'm still letting them break down and rot. Which that is one good thing with having this uh, colder weather is the colder weather does give you the ability to have uh, a lot more breakdown of your uh, previous year's garden, you know, refuse. So a lot of these stalks are really getting brittle at this point. Because, like, you can just walk over here and grab these, and they just, they just snap. And so that makes great compost material, you know, for your garden box beds. You just kind of break that down. So when I get ready to cover crop these, I'm going to break all that down, stick it inside the box, and then let it uh, rot with the... Uh, the cover crop. That's kind of a kind of a look around the yard right now. It's just pretty uh, pretty much going through its last stages of decomposition. And then of course I, I should have brought the camera out here this morning to show you guys the snow but if we get snow tonight as they're predicting I'll bring the camera out and uh, show you guys what it looks like at about 5 in the morning when I'm getting up ready to go to work. All right, it's been Brian from PMB Homesteading. Talk to you again. Bye.